In this video, we're looking at exam questions around converting between exchange rates, currency exchanges, basically. We're going to look at two different examples. These are the two types of questions that can be asked in exams that are slightly different to each other, but we approach them and we set them up in the same way each time. So looking at the first one here, they're telling us that one euro is the same value of 1.40 yen. So for one euro, you can basically get 1.40 yen. So two euro would get you 2.80 yen. So the question here is asking us, how much yen do we get for 105 euro? So the first thing here I'm going to do, and I do it with every type of currency exchange question that we see, is I'm going to write down the currency exchange. So my exchange rate is one euro, is getting me 1.40 yen. I'm going to tackle these like algebra. I'm going to try and make sure I keep my equal sign coming down underneath it each time. And my next step is I'm going to actually write in what am I trying to achieve? I'm trying to get at the bottom of this question 105 euro and I'm trying to get its value. I'm trying to figure out how many yen do I get for my 105 euro. So to look at this, think of it like this. How do I get from 1 euro to 105 euro? Well, basically, what do you have to multiply 1 by to get to 105? I basically just need to multiply it by 105. So on the left hand side, I'm timesing 1 by 105 to get to 105. If you think of your algebra, you have to do the same thing on the right hand side. You have to keep it balanced here, basically. So here, I'm basically going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to multiply my 1.40 by 105. And that will give me the value of 105 euro. And when I times that, I'm getting a value of 147 yen. So my 105 euro is actually buying me 147 yen. So that's the easier example. Coming over and looking at example two, it's telling us that one euro will get me 0 0.70 pounds. So the question wants us to find out how much euro do I get for 95 pounds? So again, I approach it the same way. First thing I do is I write down my currency exchange. My currency exchange is one euro will get me 0 0.70 pounds sterling. I then try and remember that I'm looking at something like algebra here. So I have my equal sign coming down the middle. I write down what I'm trying to achieve. Slightly different this time, I'm now looking for the value of 95 pounds. So I'm putting that on the right hand side. I'm putting pounds under pounds, euros under euro. So I want to find out what's that worth in euro. What's 95 pounds worth in euro? You can see though it's a little bit different this time. I'm not going to just multiply by 95 because I'm not multiplying 1 by 95. I'd be multiplying 0 0.70 by 95. So it's a little bit different. So what I'm going to try and do is, before I get to the value of, of £95, I'm going to find out what the exchange rate for just £1 is. So think of it this way. If I was to divide 0 0.70 by 0 0.70, what do we get? We basically just get 1. If you divide a number by itself, you get 1, basically. So that's going to get me the value of £1. Divide 0 0.70 by 0 0.70. But, like algebra tells me to do, if I do that to the right, I need to do that to the left. So I'm going to divide 1 by 0 0.70. Now you can leave it as a fraction or you can put it into a decimal. I'm going to leave it as a fraction because it's going to be a more exact answer. But if you turn it into a decimal, you'd be looking at something like 1.43 there. Now I'm back to the same old way. How do I go from £1 to £95? Well, I need to times 1 by 95. And if I do that to the right, I need to do that to the left. So when I multiply on my calculator 1.43 or 1 over 0 0.70 by 95 to the nearest two decimals, I'm getting 135 euro and 71 cent. So that's the value of 95 pounds in euro. So there are two examples of how to convert between currencies.